Courtney and we are back with part two of our Disney Trader pin haul video we are going through 150 pins in three separate videos and also giving you some pin tips and tricks for pin trading along the way and we are so excited because we have not really looked at these in detail so we're kind of looking at them the same time you guys are so we hope you love looking at all the pins with us so let's get started I'm just gonna kind of pick up a handful and kind of go through them so if you watch part one of our video, this is a candy apple and I am in love. It is so cute. I think we have not got any really duplicates. Do you see? Mm -mm. No, it's amazing. This was definitely a great lot. I love Winnie the Pooh. I collect Winnie the Pooh, so I'm definitely keeping him. Very, very cute. And of course they did like, um, what do you call it? The different zodiac signs. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Leo, and of course they did either that's grown up Simba or Mufasa, but definitely really cute. So we'll definitely be keeping you know a few of these. I think I have a few of those, but I don't have the whole set. And this again from part one, we saw Elsa, and this is Anna, and this one was really cool because it is actually from Hong Kong Disneyland, which is really cool to find because you in the park it's kind of hard sometimes you don't really know what's on the back so you don't know where they're from so that one's definitely a keeper and you can find some from Paris you know no talent so that is the pirate flag very cute let's see this one this is a princess and I think this is a Star Wars one of course Donald looks like Darth Maul in that one and I love these ticket ones I know I have Winnie the Pooh and it's admit one very cute set don't really know it's a limited release very cute oh goodness one of my favorite collections the donut collection and this one is Minnie Mouse very adorable I don't know if we have this one do we I don't think so we'll have to check I don't think we have this one so that's perfect so that's why we kind of order a little bit more this one looks like it's from a booster but it's a cool kind of classic Mickey but we always order a little extra because you never know how many you're gonna end up keeping I love these this is like the collection of like characters in the shape of Mickey's and this of course is Peter Pan one of my favorite characters and this one is a really cool set because this is actually cast member like uniforms so this looks like somebody that would be either from I'm thinking like um Tomorrowland uh, I'm thinking that yeah too. it kind of reminds me of the outfits that the people wear speaking in. of an outfit oh another outfit oh goodness it's not in the same set though oh it may be this I'm not sure no it's bigger and smaller Okay, yeah. Tower of Terror, right? Yeah, that's Tower of Terror. That's the little bellhop costume. So cute. Okay, now this one I don't know if we have, but I think it goes with, like, the hat or bow collection. That is Daisy's bow. I'm definitely keeping that one. And that's a really cute Mickey pin. And so, again, in the first video, you definitely want to check that out because we also named kind of some more tips and tricks of pin trading. These are really cute. This is Atlantica from... Little Mermaid. I love this pen. It's one of my favorite ones, but I already have it. And that's Goofy. And of course, a really cute Mickey Mouse. I believe that's Mouse. a Booster Goofy. Booster Goofy. And let's grab some more. This is a big one. That is another kind of classic Mickey. I bet it actually goes with the one we just saw. Probably a Booster Pack. Nothing wrong with Booster Packs. They make a lot of cute Booster Pack pens. This one is cool because they did the different countries. And this one, of course, is Germany. You have a Snow White. Very cute. I believe this one is from Shanghai. Oh, cool. So that's a Shanghai Mickey. See, you never know. You think it's just like a generic Mickey this pin? This is a Shanghai too. Oh, another Shanghai one. Awesome. Very awesome. Didn't Shanghai just open? Mm, I'm not sure. These are locks. So again, that tip, chocolate chip. Nope, it's stale. And of course, Pluto. That's a cute little set. I love that. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, these look like duplicates. Nope, they're in the same one. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm thinking Star Wars, like off the bat, but I'm not sure. Let me know down below. Let us know what these are if you're, if you know. Definitely not sure, but they're hidden Mickey ones, so. I'm doing Star Wars. This one is really cute. I'm a collector of Tinkerbell. That is a very cute tink pen. It's 2002. Look on the back of that one. It says something. Butterflies with Mickey's in them. Ooh, Spider-Man. Since 
they've got marble now this is a cool collection we actually were able to get these one summer and these i don't know if you have seen the movie it's called bed knobs and broomsticks it's one of my favorite movies it has angel lansbury in it very cute and that is the fish it was from the naboomboo right mm -hmm. very cute and they're like different tickets and they have different colors so that's a cool set but most people probably don't know where it's from and the tinkerbell is actually from 2002 it's the disney club member exclusive disney club member hmm pretty cool that is really cool thanks and also another cool thing too is if you book your trip through like AAA or you know different like Disney Travel Club, I think, too. You can get pins when you check in. I believe so, each person gets a pin. Yeah, each person that checks in gets an exclusive pin and probably a lanyard, I believe. And I believe every year it's a different one. Mm-hmm. That's true. Disney card holders. If you're a Visa card holder like myself, you can get a different pin every year. I mean, there's just so many different pins for different occasions. That's another teacup one. The wanted posters, which we've collected. So cute because it has all the villains on them. And a really cute black and white mini mouse this one is i love nerds pin with mini another um zodiac one so that's virgo mini and that's a little pirate vinyl mation guy and this one is the vulture i can't think of where he's from but I think this is from a set that had Disney birds, wasn't it? It's, that's a completer pin, actually. Oh, it's a completer pin. And that'll normally say it on the back. Let's see if we can get it to zoom in because it is very... Yeah, Hidden Mickey completer pin. Awesome. So we don't have that one. I can't think of what that vulture's from. There's different vultures from different Disney films. So that is a Minnie Mouse ear hat one. That's really cute. And another, I think this is another one of the cast member pens. Very cool. Okay, we're down to our last few for part two. This one, we always have a debate. Is it an acorn? Is it a squash? I've even asked cast members. Nobody ever knows. So let us know what you think this little guy is down below. We never know. But we do like to collect the food ones. We have like watermelon one. I think there's like a pumpkin one. Strawberry. Cherry very cute ones and i think when he said this symbol was from hong Sh kong or shanghai. shanghai that is so awesome and it says it's really little so i have a magnifying glass it says shanghai above the disney yeah we definitely sometimes you need to pull up magnifying glass there's the i'll be your mickey from part one we saw i'll be your mini and i think that's actually a set you can buy maybe it's together store. i think they are together that's aurora's crown i love the hat slash crown bow pins very cute that is the hand. They did like a Mickey glove, and that is one of the three little pigs. Another classic char character. That is a Shanghai Disney Donald. Awesome. Very cute. Okay, the last two. One of my personal favorites is the paint canteen. Very cute, and I think actually it was from Florida. And last. We're going to end it on this one. I only need one more. That's Courtney and I when we're pin trading. We only need one more. The complete set. I know. We're always on that hunt for the pin that we need. It's so funny, but we love doing it. So that wraps up part two of this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and let us know in the comments what you think of these. Do you love us doing these pin kind of haul videos? And let us know what you think. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our final part three video of this series. And we'll see hey guys, it's Casey and Courtney. And we are back with part two of our Disney Trader Pin haul video. We are going through 150 pins in three separate videos and also giving you some pin tips and tricks for pin trading along the way and we are so excited because we have not really looked at these in detail so we're kind of looking at them the same time you guys are so we hope you love looking at all the pins with us so let's get started i'm just going to kind of pick up a handful and kind of go through them so if you watch part one of our video this is a candy apple and i am in love it is so cute i think we have not got any really duplicates do you see mm -mm. no it's amazing this was definitely a great lot I love Winnie the Pooh. I collect Winnie the Pooh, so I'm definitely keeping him. Very, very cute. And, of course, they did, like, um, what do you call it? 
the different zodiac signs. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Leo, and of course they did either that's grown up Simba or Mufasa, but definitely really cute. So we'll definitely be keeping you know a few of these. I think I have a few of those, but I don't have the whole set. And this again from part one, we saw Elsa, and this is Anna, and this one was really cool because it is actually from Hong Kong Disneyland. Which is really cool to find because you in the park it's kind of hard. Sometimes you don't really know what's on the back so you don't know where they're from. So that one's the cup one. The wanted posters which we've collected. So cute because it has all the villains on them. And it's really cute black and white Minnie Mouse. This one is I Love Nerds pin with Minnie. Another um, Zodiac one. So that's Virgo Minnie. And that's a little pirate vinylmation guy. And this one is the vulture. I can't think of where he's from, but I think this is from a set that had Disney birds, wasn't it? It's that's a completer pin, actually. Oh, it's a completer pin. And that'll normally say it on the back. Let's see if we can get it to zoom in because it is very Yeah, hidden Mickey completer pin. Awesome. So we don't have that one. I can't think of what that vulture's from. There's different vultures from different Disney films. So that is a Minnie Mouse ear hat one. That's really cute. And another, I think this is another one of the cast member pins. Very cool. Okay, we're down to our last few for part two. This one, we always have a debate. Is it an acorn? Is it a squash? I've even asked cast members. Nobody ever knows. So let us know what you think this little guy is down below. We never know. But we do like to collect the food ones. We have like watermelon one. I think there's like a pumpkin one. Strawberry. Cherry. I don't know if we have. But I think it goes with like the hat or bow collection. That is Daisy's bow. I'm definitely keeping that one. And that's a really cute Mickey pen. And so again in the first video. You definitely want to check that out. Because we also named kind of some more tips and tricks of pen trading. These are really cute. This is Atlantica from Little Mermaid. I love this pen. It's one of my favorite ones, but I already have it. And that's Goofy. And of course, a really cute Mickey Mouse. Yeah, that's a Booster Goofy. Booster Goofy. And let's grab some more. This is a big one. That is another kind of classic Mickey. I bet it actually goes with the one we just saw. Probably a Booster Pack. Nothing wrong with Booster Packs. They make a lot of cute Booster Pack pens. This one is cool because they did the different countries. And this one, of course, is Germany. You have Snow White. Very cute. I believe this one is from Shanghai. Oh, cool. So that's a Shanghai Mickey. See, you never know. Do you think it's just like a generic Mickey this pin? This is a Shanghai, too. Oh, another Shanghai one. Awesome. Very awesome. Didn't Shanghai just open? Mm, I'm not sure. These are locks. So, again, that tip, chocolate chip. Nope, it's stale. And, of course, Pluto. That's a cute little set. I love that. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, these look like duplicates. No, nope, they're in the same one. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm thinking Star Wars. Like, it's definitely a keeper. And you can find some from Paris. You know, no talent. So that is the pirate flag. Very cute. Let's see. This one says Apprentice. And I think this is a Star Wars one, of course. Donald looks like Darth Maul in that one. And I love these ticket ones. I know I have Winnie the Pooh and it's admit one. Very cute set. Don't really know. It's a limited release. Very cute. Oh goodness. One of my favorite collections. The donut collection. And this one is Minnie Mouse. Very adorable. I don't know if we have this one, do we? I don't think so. We'll have to check. I don't think we have this one. So that's perfect. So that's why we kind of order a little bit more. This one looks like it's from a booster. But it's a cool kind of classic Mickey. But we always order a little extra because you never know how many you're going to end up keeping. I love these. This is like the collection of like characters in the shape of Mickey's. And this, of course, is Peter Pan, one of my favorite characters. And this one is a really cool set because this is actually cast member like uniforms. So this looks like somebody that would be either from, I'm thinking like um, Tomorrowland. Uh, I'm thinking that yeah, too. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of the outfits that the people wear. Speaking of an outfit. Oh, another outfit. Oh, goodness. It's not in the same set though. Oh, it maybe this. I'm not sure. No, it's bigger and smaller. Okay, yeah. Tower of Terror, right? Yeah, that's Tower of Terror. That's the little bellhop costume. So cute. 
Okay, now this might off the bat, but I'm not sure. Let me know down below. Let us know what these are. If you if you know. Definitely not sure, but they're hidden Mickey ones, so. That's in stores. This one is really cute. I'm a collector of Tinkerbell. That is a very cute tink pen. It's 2002. Look on the back of that one. It says something. Butterflies with Mickey's in them. Ooh, Spider-Man since they've got Marvel. Now, this is a cool collection. We actually were able to get these one summer. And these, I don't know if you have seen the movie. It's called Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. It's one of my favorite movies. It has Angel Lansbury in it. Very cute. And that is the fish. It was from the Naboomboo, right? Mm -hmm. Very cute. And they're like different tickets and they have different colors. So that's a cool set, but most people probably don't know where it's from. And the Tinkerbell is actually from 2002. It's the Disney Club member exclusive. Disney Club member. Hmm. Pretty cool. That is really cool. Thanks. And also another cool thing too is if you book your trip through like AAA or, you know, different Disney Travel Club, I think, too. You can get pins when you check in. I believe so, each person gets a pin. Yeah, each person that checks in gets an exclusive pin and probably a lanyard, I believe. And I believe every year it's a different one. Mm-hmm. That's true. Disney card holders. If you're a Visa card holder like myself, you can get a different pin every year. I mean, there's just so many different pins for different occasions. That's another T 